Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm continuing the applique lesson that I started with the video entitled Applique 101. If you have not seen that video, I recommend that you watch it first. Today I'll show you how you can applique using a background image. To do that, let me clear my screen and I want to open the image and I'll choose from file. This is an image I got off the internet. I checked to make sure for the uses of those images and that they're free to use for your personal use. And this is the image. I'll choose open. Let's make it larger. And the next thing we'll do is decide what tools we can use to digitize it. I'll use the closed straight line tool and the closed curve tool. And if you notice, the closed straight line has a shortcut key of Z, and the closed curve tool has a shortcut key of X. So I'll start out with the straight line. I'll choose X to go to the curve. And I, I will digitize this fairly quickly but so that you don't have to watch me clicking points. And I'm not worried about whether I have a couple of mistakes because I know that I can adjust them when I go to reshape nodes. To go back to the X and double click. Okay. I don't have the region show on right now so that we can see the background image, but let's go in and choose select so that we can reshape the node. And we'll just go around the shape of this letter B. And no one is going to know what this this original design looked like unless this was, say, for instance, a logo you were digitizing for someone. And then you definitely would want it to closely resemble that logo. But I believe that looks fairly good. And... I'll go on and turn the fill on. And now what I want to do is to hide this. And by the way, I'm in a stitch view so that I can see the background in, in some instances. Particularly if I zoomed way in on this, you would be able to see the background. But what we want to do is we want to hide this from the sewing order. So to do that, I just click the eye. And now what I want to do is digitize the inside. I'll click Home. And now I'll go back into Shapes. I'll choose the very same tools. And I'll start digitizing, excuse me, a little tongue-tied there, the inside of this. And... Then we'll go ahead and digitize the other. And again, I can reshape these, so I'm not too worried about whether they're perfect or not. Okay, let's go ahead and let's zoom in a little bit. And now that we're zoomed in, let's select the first shape. Okay, now let's go back to the Reshape Node tool. And I'll just pull a couple of these points out until I'm satisfied with it. And we'll do the same on the next shape. So to do that, let me go back and select the bottom shape. And we'll go back into the Reshape Nodes. And we'll reshape this a bit as well. And we'll just assume that we like the appearance of that. Now, if I was really digitizing this for my own use, what I would do is I would reshape this top one because I want it to be a straight line. And to help me do that, what I could do is I can click on uh, the ruler, give me a guideline, in fact, we'll do that very quickly. It won't take us 
a moment to do it. And now what I can do is I can pull this point or node back to this line so that my shapes are more closely following the, the shape of the letter. Now that I'm satisfied with that, to remove that guideline, all I need to do is to click on it once. And then we'll go back to select, click off of it. And now we'll turn on this, the fill so that we can see all of the design. Let's go on and uh, zoom back out on the design. Okay, now we need to remove the holes in, in this letter. To do that, we need to select everything and choose Modify, Overlap, and Set Hole Sewing. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to turn off these fill stitches to no sew regions because we really truly do want to have a hole in the center of the B. So now that we've done that, what we need to do is to go ahead and select the ex external letter of the B and we're ready to applique. So we go to the applique wizard. We want to create an applique with hole sewing. We want to choose replace and we'll leave everything at the default values and choose OK. So now you can see that we do have this digitized. Let me go ahead and turn off the background so that you can see it. I'll right click, I'll choose Modify Image, and while it's selected, I'll press Delete, and you can see the applique. I hope this is helpful. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and have a good day.